safe recruitment and things that can keep children and adults safer. It is always sensible, where possible, to have two adults when working with children. The second adult need not be a professional. For example, one could be a parent or chaperone. Sometimes this is not possible and that's okay. If you're working alone with children, make sure other adults are aware of the situation and follow simple steps like staying in an open environment and having a clear policy of not, for example, taking a lone child in your car. If you are working with children in a professional capacity, please help to ensure those who want to work with you are safe to work with children. In some countries, you can run background checks on adults who want to work with children. If that system is in place, you must do that. There are other ways to help ensure that the adults who are working with you are safe to work with children. At an interview or whilst chatting to them, ask questions about their attitude towards children and their knowledge of how to keep children safe. You can also make sure the person is given an induction where you can steer them in good practice to keep children safe, appropriate behaviour and how to deal with a safeguarding concern. Work with other agencies and families where it is appropriate and safe. If you have a concern, it is important to share these with people that can help. Remember the stories we shared where professionals and others failed to pass on concerns. Also, if you intervene early, then some issues can be addressed before they become a risk of significant harm to the child. Working together can be the key to making a difference.